Hello, my name is J.R. Tallman, and today I'll be covering a new feature in the 2019 one release version of NetSuite, which is paying an employee in a different currency than the sub's base currency they are assigned to. We'll be taking a look at the employee record, the expense transaction, and then finally, we'll actually make the bill payment itself. So let's go ahead and go to an employee record within the system. This can be any employee record that's in the system uh, that you're gonna be making the payment for. So I'll go ahead and global search my name here. And on the employee record, the first thing you should notice, uh, and this is prior to the 2019 one release version, is the currency is currently grayed out, which defaults from the subsidiary's base currency. In this case, I have a parent company, US, which is a base currency of USD. What's new in the 2019.1 release version is underneath the Human Resources subtab, you'll notice a new sublist that is called Expense Report Currencies. If you go ahead and click on the Expense Report Currencies sublist, here is where you can identify additional currencies to be used on the expense report and to make payment against. So in this case, you can see my default currency is Canadian dollar, which differs from the currency that I have up here, which is coming from the subsidiary. Additionally, if I wanted to add ad additional currencies, I could do so, which are just set up in this system. So this is underneath list accounting currencies. Um, I have a variety of different currencies I could add. So if I wanted to add GBP, I could certainly do so here and make that available when I enter an expense report. So let's go ahead and save this. And the next thing what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enter an expense report within the system. So underneath transactions, employees ex enter expense reports. Uh, you know, the employees could certainly do this through um, their employee center, but since I am an administrator role, we'll go ahead and enter it directly here. Before I enter it myself as the employee, I do want to point out two fields that are new within the 19.1 version. Uh, the first field is the currency. So this should default to CAD, uh, since that is my primary currency that I have selected on my employee record. The second field is the exchange rate. So this will update automatically if I have a different currency than the subsidiary that I am assigned to, and it will use the daily exchange rate uh, for whatever date I have listed here. So let's go ahead and enter myself as the employee. And you can notice that the currency automatically updates to Canadian dollar, which is correct, which I had on the uh, my employee record. The exchange rate also defaults, so I'm not gonna go ahead and change that. Uh, what I am gonna do within this demonstration is to check off the accounting approval and supervisor approval, so we do not need to go through the approval process steps. Down below, I'll go ahead and enter an expense report category that I have set up. I'll go ahead and enter travel for today. Um, I could still enter a foreign amount if I wanted to. So even though my currency that I'll be paying in is Canadian dollars, I still might want to enter this transaction in uh, USD. So I can go ahead and select my currency as a USD uh, expense report item. It was 500 USD. Uh, we'll keep the exchange rate for the date here, and the amount will be in Canadian dollars, 660.07. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add that. And finally, we'll go ahead and save this expense report and take a look at the GL impact. All right, so the expense report has been saved. It's approved by accounting. As mentioned, I can go ahead and go hover over actions and GL impact, which will show me the GL impact here. Uh, so this is $500 in the USD company, right? So I, again, I am in the USD company, uh, but when I make this payment, it will be that 660 uh, Canadian dollar. All right, so if I go to report, return to expense report, it should be ready to make payment. Okay. And I can go ahead and click on make payment if I wanted to. I could also go to transactions, payables, pay bills, or pay single vendor, right? Since this is going to treat uh, myself as a vendor in the system within this expense report. So for ease of clarity here, um, we'll go ahead and click on make payment button. Which brings me to the bill payment page. And the first thing you'll notice, right, I am selected as the payee, but the amount is in Canadian dollars. Uh, prior to this release, everything would need to be in United States dollars uh, in this demonstration. Otherwise, you would need to set up the employee as a vendor uh, within the system 
and do lots of manual adjustments, right? Um, so this makes it a lot easier to pay uh, employees within different currencies. Now, uh, you can see my expense report is listed down below here, right, in Canadian dollars. If I s select a different currency here, uh, such as USD, um, that's certainly going to update the page here. And I, you can see that my uh, expense report that I just entered uh, is not showing anymore. So I still need to make the, the payment uh, within the currency that is listed on that expense report. So I'll go ahead and change this back to Canadian dollar. And finally, we'll go ahead and select that expense report that we want to make to this employee. Uh, and I could easily uh, print this uh, via check. Uh, if you had uh, any electronic payments within NetSuite, you can make it uh, via ACH uh, or any other means uh, that you might have integrations with. I will go ahead and save this bill payment. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the GL impact here. All right, so the bill payment has been saved successfully. If you hover over actions and GL impact, you'll be able to see the GL impact. I'm still in the legal entity of the USD, so um, it's still using that $500 in the back end, but the payment was made in Canadian dollars. So that's a quick overview of the new feature in the 2019.1 release version of NetSuite. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and please visit my other videos uh, at your leisure. Thank you very much.